and welcome to the Nexus for issue two of our Robocop build and we're going to be building the right foot in this issue. So let's get going. Okay, so um, like I said, I've built this before so I know what's going on uh, with this section I've definitely built before. Um, so, uh, first things first, we're going to get, uh, the support rod here, and this section just here, if I can get it, <laughs> this bit just here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, drop this in one of the ways, it doesn't matter which way neither, and we're going to put an AM screw. Now, I'm not going to tighten it right up, and I'll explain that in just a moment. Okay, so there's mine. As you can see, it's wobbly like anything. Don't worry, because we're going to be taking this bit out a little bit later on in the build. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to fit two AM screws just in there. One each side. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so there we go. That side and that side. As you can see, it wobbles. It won't wobble once we come to uh, fitting it, but like I said, this rod here will be taken off and we'll have to unscrew this. When we come to screwing it back on, that's when we tighten it. But until then, it's fine to be left loose, trust me. Okay, so there's that bit there. We're going to now fit the ball joint. So we've got the ball joint section just here. So we've got the cup here. We're going to go, we've got the two stopper sections just here which are like a buffer section. So we've got a big one and a small one. First one to go in is the big one, then the small one, and the ball joint on top. And we want the leg to be fitted around sort of that way. Uh, we're going to secure this in place just here with four CM screws on those points in there. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, at the end of this issue, at the end of this stage, I should say, not this issue. Still got a fair bit to go. We have fitted the ball joint. Now, when you come to fit the ball joint, make sure this end is on the inside foot. Remember, this is the right foot, so that is how it should be. And it's important to keep it like that because this is very, very stiff, like it really should be. So if I push it and pull it, it does move, but it's very, very hard to. It will mean if it's not this way, it will just be a little bit more harder for you when it comes to attaching the leg to this. So remember, it's that way. So now we're going to build the rest of the foot. So we're going to grab uh, the, the shield section, which is this bit here. And that is going to go in there. And we're going to secure that in with a CM screw. So I'm going to do that. OK, now. so the next part we're going to do is we're going to fit our foot. So the front part of the foot goes in like so. Then we've got the screw. So there's a knack to this. And I'm going to tell you that knack right now. So we're going to be screwing in it here and here. And this is how we do it. But uh, it says in the magazine to do it simultaneously. We're not going to do that. What we are going to do first, and I know I'm deviating from the instructions, but this is such an easier way of doing it. So we're going to use a CM screw, and we're going to screw this side in first. So that's what I'm going to go and do now. Okay, so we should have something like this. Uh, making sure that it's all pushed down like this, and it looks exactly like this. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put a CM screw into this section just here but we are not going to screw it down all the way so what we're going to do is we're just going to put it in if I can <laughs> like so and what we're going to do is do it to about that uh, we'll, we'll secure it down in just a moment so next what we're going to do is put this on I'm going to get a pair of tweezers and we are just going to hook this around that screw. Um, it says to do it simultaneously in the magazine, uh, which the instructions are 
I should have been on the screen at the time. So what we're just going to do is that. And then what we're going to do is just tighten this a little bit. Not all the way up. Same with that. You don't tighten it tight. You tighten it a little bit loose. Just enough. So it should be like that. So it's not completely flush as you can see. There's a reason and that is so the movement isn't uh, overly bad. So the next part we're going to do is we're going to fit the base plate on. So we're going to do that first base plate and we're going to put CM screws in that and then we're going to fit the front one. So the back one goes on first then the front one. So it should look something like that and we're going to put CM screws in all of them screw holes and then we'll take a look at the end result. And there we go. So all the screws are in place. That is the right foot done. Um, and it should look exactly like this if you follow the steps. Uh, as you can see, you can have him like that. It does come apart only very slightly. Uh, it sometimes catches. But uh, that is so you can have him poised like this if you want. It's a nice little section. I think I'm just going to keep him flat footed. But uh, it gives you the option there to have him sort of stepping out on something. I don't know. It's quite cool. Uh, but it gives you the, the sort of a scale size. I mean, obviously, this is going to be his foot. So you can sort of depend on how big this is going to be. It's going to be huge. And you're going to love it. Um, but that is it. Now, uh, just like with the helmet. You need to put the right foot away because we will not need this now for the next 30 odd issues. Um, when we come to to doing Robocop, we're going to start on his left leg and then back to his right one. So actually we need to put the leg, the right foot away. We won't be using it for some time now. So we're going to put that away nicely and securely. But that is it. Uh, that concludes pack one of our Robocop. We've done, pack, uh, we've done issue one, issue two. Uh, it's just the uh, the right foot. And that, that is it from us here at the Nexus. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to start your own Robocop journey, you can, you can uh, click links in the description or scan the QR code on screen. I've been Kev. You've been watching the Nexus. And as always, we'll see you at the next video. Take it easy.